In this video, I am going to show you how to incorporate a hydrophilic ingredient into a butter. Hello lovely formulators, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. Theoretically, water and oil do not blend and to bring them together you either need a, a water in oil emulsifier or an oil in water. Most of you, however, wish to add some hydrophilic ingredients into your balms and butters, such as aloe or honey or hydrophilic uh, plant extracts with an intensive color. But generally, it doesn't work or your active ingredient wouldn't be uh, really incorporated in the bar. Or if it wouldn't remain stable, and effective and you are compromising the overall stability of the product. Today I am going to show you three ways to incorporate a hydrophilic ingredient in a balm and to optically show you how it works and what are the differences. I am using a beetroot hydroglycerin extract with this beautiful red color so that you really see how uh, different methods work. Formulations are very straightforward and simple. The solid phase consists of coconut oil and shea butter. Then I have a heat sensitive phase uh, consisting of rosemary antioxidants, vitamin E, almond oil and grapefruit uh, essential oil. And then I have the colorant which is the, the hydroglyceric a beetroot extract. In one of the methods, I'm just using the extract and adding it to the um, to the melted butter phase. For the other two methods, I am using a, somehow matchmakers. This one is Actisire, which is a blend of different waxes, a proprietary blend by Gattefus. It is solid at room temperature, so I have to blend it and melt it till it blends with the beetroot extract. Here I have our NeoCare P3R. You know it as, an, as a cold process water in oil emulsifier. And if you look at it exactly i have here two phases the uh, lower phase is the beetroot extract and the upper phase is our neocare but they blend very easily at room temperature without any need for heating so these are the three different methods that i'm going to use and i'm going to show you how the finished product looks just like a ordinary butters and balls, I'm going to melt my solid face in a water bath and then after it is melted, I am going to add the other faces. But here in Actisire case, I have to melt my Actisire and mm, root bit extract as well. My butter phase is now melted, so I can add uh, the hydrophilic phase. Here I have the melted shea butter and coconut oil and this is the blend of Actisire and uh, beetroot extract and I'm going to blend them. So it blends immediately, very easily, and I have to wait a little bit till this phase cools down so that I can add my heat sensitive ingredients. Here, the same, I have the blend of new care and root bit extract, and I'm going to blend this with the melted butter phase. Mm. 
blends very easily. And I have to wait a little bit till I can add my heat sensitive ingredients. And here I am directly adding the hydroglycerin extract without any matchmaker to the melted face. And as you can imagine, they do not blend. It doesn't, it is not incorporated in the bottom face. So we wait a little bit till they cool down and then add the heat sensitive phase. My melted butter phase uh, is cooled down. It's about 40, 50 degrees. And now I'm going to add the heat sensitive ingredients and continue cooling down. You can accelerate the cool down by bringing uh, your bulb in the fridge, but don't forget to uh, blend it every now and then to avoid uh, graininess and crystallization of shape. oil and water do not blend you can force blending when it comes to to a trace you can force blending and incorporating the the extract in the bond as it solidifies uh, but it doesn't remain stable and i'm going to show you the end result in a few minutes my bonds are now solid they were in the fridge for about one hour and this one is the one with Actisoil. This one was with NeoK and this miserable one was uh, without any matchmaker and I have directly added the beetroot extract into the butter and as you can see it is it has sedimented and separated because logically oil and water do not blend and you can see here that uh, the uh, beetroot phase is separated within a few weeks they look like this these two one are exactly the same as uh, freshly made uh, it is about three weeks now and this one is completely fade out and it's like a usual butter. So this is how you can incorporate a hydrophilic ingredient in a bun or butter with a matchmaker. In this example, the differences are extreme because of the high intensity of the color of the uh, extract. When you are working with something like honey or aloe vera, you will probably not see this difference but the basic is the same and you have to keep in mind that your hydrophilic ingredient is not uh, directly exactly incorporated in the in the bar and uh, it's uh, it doesn't it doesn't work as effectively as it should i hope 
you have enjoyed this uh, short tutorial or explanation. This is a part of our upcoming course, The Secret to Nine Grainy Balms and Butters. Stay tuned for the announcement about the course. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and I will see you soon in other tutorials. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.